In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to weld aluminum using brazing rods. I've got these brazing rods at Harbor Freight. The torch, I also got at Harbor Freight. You're gonna need a wire brush, the aluminum you're gonna weld, and a propane tank. A lot of people think that you need to buy a very expensive machine to weld aluminum. Well, you don't. This is a very inexpensive way to weld aluminum without having to spend the money on a welder. I'm gonna show you step by step how to braze aluminum. The first thing you need to do is wire brush whatever you're brazing really good. Now that we're done wire brushing, it's time to weld these two pieces together. I like to use a vise because I know it's going to hold it in place and it's not going to move as I'm welding. You don't need to over tighten it, just enough where it's going to hold it in place. This is the Harbor Freight torch. It's pretty light. It does have a built-in igniter and I recommend it to anyone who is trying to braze their own aluminum. I've used this torch many times and it's always worked out great for me. I'm sure most of you are wondering how do you know when the aluminum is hot enough to weld? What I typically do is I heat up the aluminum and I touch the rod to the aluminum. Once it starts melting, you know the aluminum is ready to weld. All right, now it's time to start welding.
once we're done welding, we're gonna take it out of the vise and we're gonna see how the welds came out. The welds came out good, as you guys can see. Uh, another thing guys, uh, don't be scared to do this on your own. Uh, it's not very expensive to do. And if I can do it, I'm sure you guys can do it too. I'm not a professional welder and I was able to learn how to uh, braze aluminum by myself. It sure beats buying a welding machine for a small do-it-yourself project at the house. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, subscribe, comment, and don't forget to share.